Hi, my name is Eric Lawyer, and this is an introduction to StepWorks, a website which is all about turning ideas into instruments. StepWorks lets you combine texts, musical notes, and rhythm into shows that you can perform in real time, modify, and share. Um, it's based on an open source library called Stepwise, which is freely available for you to use in your own projects if you like. So what I'm going to do here is give you a sense of what uh, a Stepworks show is and then show you how it can be modified, changed, and shared. So this is the Stepworks homepage. Right now it's cycling through previews of a number of different shows from the site. Um, I'm going to go ahead and click on the top one here, which is called This is What Democracy Looks Like. I picked a protest chant because protest chants are actually a great uh, example of the kind of content which is a perfect fit for Stepworks. Um, it's rhythmic, it's textual, and it's performed in real time. So let's see how this works. On the show page here, I've got an instruction to key, click, or tap to begin. So I'm going to press a key, and we get the words, this is what. I'm going to press again, democracy, and one more time, looks like. Okay, so as I'm pressing these keys, I'm getting text that's displayed, but it's also being displayed in a rhythmic way. The syllables are unfolding in time. This is what democracy looks like. Okay, I'm um, going to show you a couple other examples of Stepworks shows. Here's one called Jaren's Super Metroid. Um, what this show does is it takes Jaren's from a walkthrough, a textual walkthrough for the game Super Metroid, pulls all the, the ING words, the Jaren's out of it, and sets it to music adapted from the score. So if I press a key here, I get two words and four notes. I press another key. So I'm getting words describing what one does in Super Metroid. So in a way I'm kind of playing the game, but in a textual fashion. And because I'm the one controlling when I press the key, I can perform this in whatever rhythm I want. Perform it kind of in sequence or double time it or just kind of go crazy. Okay, another example here, kind of in a similar vein. This one's called Boss Verbs Earthworm Gym. Similarly, it's taking verbs from a walkthrough for the boss battles for Earthworm Gym and setting them to music adapted from the score. So if I press the key. Again, giving the sense of the textual version of what it's like to play this game. it in whatever rhythm I want. One of the cool things about this kind of storytelling is, is this collaboration between the user and the author. So the author is determining what happens and the user is determining when it happens. So you get this kind of interesting collaboration that even though it's a very simple mechanic, there's a lot of creative possibilities that are, that are available in there. All right, so let's dig a little deeper here. I'm going to go back to our democracy show. And we're going to talk a little bit about what makes a show. So a show on Stepworks is a combination of two things, a script and a stage. The script determines what the content of the show is. The stage determines how that content is presented. Okay, so if I look at the footer here on the description of the show, I see the script here is called This is What Democracy Looks Like. And there's a stage here called Slab Text Sign. Okay, so I'm going to click on the script link. And this takes us to the scripts page. Um, so we see uh, XML here. This is a special flavor of XML called Stepwise XML that's specific to uh, Stepwise and Stepworks. Um, I'm not going to go into all the features of it here, but if you look closely, you can see the words and syllables um, are in the script. So here's this is what, then democracy split up into syllables, democracy looks like. Okay. And we can see there's other things in here. There's colors, there's other elements here. We'll, we'll get back to them in a minute. So this determines the content, the what of this show. Now, if I jump back here and click on the link for the stage, which is called Slab Text Sign, we go to a page for that stage. And we see here Slab Text Sign is bold screen filling type based on a jQuery vision, version of the slab type algorithm. This is an algorithm I developed a number of years ago for laying out text in uh, boxes, basically. Um, and if I start to perform this 
stage, it's got some default content loaded into it. This is a sentence that contains every letter of the alphabet, several fabulous Dixieland jazz groups played with quick tempo, and we can see the visual effects of this stage at work. It's taking the text and it's stretching it to the full width of the screen. Um, no matter how much text I add in, it still just applies this same approach over and over again. Okay, so we can see how the combination of this stage, which you know visually treats the text in a certain way, with the content of the script that we saw that has the protest chant, this is what democracy looks like, results in this effect, where we see the words being stretched across the screen in sequence as we're performing them. Okay. So let's say we want to make some changes to this script. Let's look at how we can do that. So um, the escape key actually lets you toggle the display of the little toolbar here. Um, and if I click options, I get all my customization features here. So if I click this menu, um, I can actually uh, look at the other scripts on the site. I can load other scripts from the site into this stage. Um, but one thing I'm going to check out here is I'm going to click on Enter Stepwise XML. And one uh, little nifty thing about the site is that uh, whatever script is loaded, um, its XML code gets loaded into this dialog. So right now we're seeing the script that's currently loaded, just like it appeared on the other page. The script for this is what a democracy looks like. So we can see the text in here. And at the bottom, you remember we saw colors there. So I'm just gonna go right in here and edit these colors. So I'm gonna change white to green. Everywhere I see white, I'm gonna put green. And everywhere I see blue, I'm gonna put black. Okay, so now instead of red, white, and green, we've got red, green, and black. Oh, we've got one more white here, we'll change to green. Okay, and now when I hit done, it's gonna load that modified script in. And now when I perform it, I get the same text content, but in the new colors. Okay, so pretty easy to change something like that. But let's say I want to go further. I want to actually want to change the text of this chant. One way you can do that is pick enter plain text here. And so now I can just type my own text and whatever, every line of text is gonna get turned into a separate step. So let me just put a different chant in here. So we're gonna put in resists the policy, love the people. Okay, when I hit done, it's gonna load that new script in. And here we go, resist the policy, love the people. And it loops. So just that easily, I was able to replace the text with my own text. Um, now this is great for a quick test to see how this text looks, but I wanna add a little bit more pizzazz to it. I wanna add some rhythm to it, maybe a little bit of color. So in order to do that, we need to use another feature of the site, which is integration with Google Sheets. Okay, so with a spreadsheet, we can actually, if we format it the right way, um, load more sophisticated kinds of content into Stepworks. So I'm gonna show an example of that now. So I've got a blank spreadsheet set up here. And the way that the spreadsheet format works with Stepworks is that each column is a character. So one of the interesting things about Stepwise, which is the library that all this is based on that kind of undergirds the site, um, is that it's character based. So characters can say things, they can do things, they can take actions. Um, and so almost in the way that you could think of a music sequencer having different instruments or a musical composition having different instruments, um, in a score for a step work show, um, we've got different characters. They're kind of like tracks. So in this case, we only have one character, but we still need to kind of set them up. So I'm just gonna call this character narrator. Um, the top row is always the names of the characters. Uh, I'll put that in bold so it's a little easier to pick out. And let's just go ahead and type the text of our new script in here. So we have resists the policy, love the people. Okay, and every row in the spreadsheet is a separate step. All right, so in order to load this into Stepworks, all I need to do is publish this spreadsheet to the web. Yes, copy the URL. And then when I go back here, I'm gonna hit pick load from Google Sheets. I'm gonna paste that URL in. 
click done. It loads the content. Here we are, resist the policy, love the people. Okay, so right now we've just duplicated what we did in the, the plain text version. So let's start to add some of the, the more special features. So first thing let's get into doing is making this a little bit more rhythmic. Right now we've got one word per tap or click. Um, but I want to break this down into syllables so it's a little bit more like a chant. So it's something more like resist the policy, love the people. Okay, so let's look at how we do that in Google Sheets. So in order to break a word into syllables, um, we get into a little bit of special notation here. So resist, we want to turn this into two syllables. So within this cell, I'm going to use option return to just create a, a line break within the cell. And I'm going to use ampersand, S-I-S-T, the second syllable there, and a plus one. Okay. So this means trigger both of these steps at the same time, but delay one of them by one beat. Okay. So when I press a key, it's going to set both of these syllables into motion, but it's going to delay the playback of one of them by one beat. Now, what determines what one beat is? Well, we need to define a pulse um, for this story. So I'm going to use a new column here. I'm going to call it pulse. And I'm going to put 120, and that's the beats per minute of this pulse. Okay, so that's the tempo, the overall tempo. Then I'm going to put a slash and the number 2. So it means the, the unit pulse, the basic beat of this story, should be 120 beats per, per minute uh, divided by 2. Okay, so two subdivisions per, per beat. Okay, so now let's go back and see the effect of that. All I have to do is reload here, and the new, the updated spreadsheet gets loaded in. So now if I press a key, we get resists in two syllables. Let's show it again here. So watch, resists. All right, so we've got the two syllables here. So let's go ahead and bring that approach to the rest of the piece. So the way I think I want this to work is let's break this chant into four steps. So resist will be one, the policy will be two, love will be three, and the people will be four. All right, so we've got resists. Let's do the policy. So I'm going to edit this step. I'm going to add an ampersand. An ampersand really just means append this content to the previous content. Um, steps by default will just replace each other. So in order to get content to persist on the screen, I need to use the ampersand so it'll append it. That's how we got resist to build uh, the syllables into a word instead of just having one syllable replace the other. All right, so resist the PO, first syllable of policy. And I've got a space in there because obviously the and policy are two separate words. So we need a space between them. I'm going to do a plus one. And then another ampersand and LI, the second syllable of policy. And we'll do a plus two on that. So we'll delay it by two beats. And then our final syllable for policy CY and a plus three. Okay, so we have resist the policy. Um, love is our next step. And then our last step will be the ampersand space PEO plus one, which is our first syllable here and then ampersand PLE, which is our second syllable. And we don't need these two anymore, so I'm just going to delete them. Okay, so we've got four steps here. Resist, the policy, love, the people. Let's go back and reload. And we've got resist, the policy, love, the people. Resist, the policy, love, the people. All right, so we've got a rhythmic text that we're performing in real time. So... This is good, we're doing well here, but the font's a little bit plain, so let's pick another font that we can use for our chant here. So I'm gonna open up Google Fonts, and pretty much any font in Google Fonts is supported um, in Stepworks. So I'm gonna choose, I kind of like this one, Barrio, so let's go back to our spreadsheet, and I'm gonna use a bit of special syntax here. Dollar sign, set font, and I'm just going to put the name of the font, Barrio. Okay, so let's reload. And we've got resist the policy, love the people. Cool. So now we've got our font in here. And all we had to do was use that set font command to get it going. Now, one thing you might notice is that some words are smaller than others. So like love here is really small. Why is that? 
Well, it's just a, a function of this particular algorithm that when you have too few characters, the spacing gets a little thrown off. So, um, but I really want this word love to show up large. So I'm going to cheat on it a little bit and use uh, just some special characters to make it longer so that the algorithm will scale it up. So I think I'm going to use a tilde here, which somehow seems appropriate for love. Um, and let's go ahead and, well, let's see what that looks like. So I'm going to reload here. Resist the policy love. There we go. So now love is nice and big because basically it's a five character threshold um, for the scaling to take place. Um, I kind of like the fact that it does jump in size. It makes it a little bit more percussive, but I really wanted love to be big. So I, I wanted to do a, a cheat there. Um, and since love and resist are kind of our counterpoints here, I'm going to add some special characters around resist too. I'll do asterisks, which seems somehow appropriate to resisting. So now we've got resists the policy, love the people. Okay. So the last thing I'm going to do here is let's add some color to just kind of brighten this up a little bit. Um, and we can use some special commands to do that as well. So I'm just going to do a command called set for color, which is the foreground color, which this stage will interpret as the color of the text. So let's make it orange, orange. And I'm going to use another command called set back color or the background color. I'm going to set that to purple. Um, I could also use pretty much any CSS color notation here. So I could use hex colors or RGB. Um, so let's say I want the first two steps of this story to be orange text and purple background. And then the last two will be the reverse. So let's make it purple text with an orange background. Okay, let's reload here. And let's perform. Resist the policy, love the people. Cool. All right, so we've got our colors going, we've got our font going, we've got our rhythm going. So you can quickly see how you can customize content um, and really make it your own. So I hope you get a sense here of what's possible with Stepworks. One of the great things about the Google Sheets implementation is that these are shareable. So I can use the Facebook or the Twitter links and it will actually append the reference to the spreadsheet in it. So you can customize your own content with Google Sheets and then share it um, just by copying the URL or using the social sharing features. Without having an account or anything like that, you can create your own content and share it with the world. So with that, I hope you've enjoyed this introduction to Stepworks. Uh, the website URL is step.works. There'll be many more shows and stages and scripts going online in the near future. Please uh, let me know what you think. Send me some feedback. Let me know any additional features you'd like to see if you run into any technical issues. And uh, hope you enjoy it. Thanks.